Welcome to the Metaverse, which literally means beyond the universe. Meta for beyond and verse for universe. An alternate digital reality where people work, play, socialize. Some say it's the potential successor to the internet. Metaverse goes by many names. Spatial internet, mirror world, AR cloud. But there is no universally accepted definition of Metaverse. And there is also much debate among the tech community over what the Metaverse is and what it isn't. It is truly an amorphous concept because it doesn't exist today. But let me try my best to explain what exactly is the Metaverse. Hello and welcome to Tech at Work. I am Reema Tindulkar. Metaverse is a set of virtual or augmented spaces which you can create and explore with other people who aren't in the same physical space as you. Where the physical blends with the augmented and virtual reality. Where you are represented by a 3D version of you, your avatar, and that avatar will be playing, working, shopping, and interacting in a shared online universe. Where you're present inside the internet rather than looking at it from the outside. Let's talk about each of these individual elements that I spoke about. There is social interaction, but this happens via an avatar. There is virtual and digital reality, which allow you to be inside the internet rather than looking at it from the outside. So the first point about the digital avatar. Today, the social interaction that we have with our friends. What do you do? You log on to the internet, you'll go on the social media, you'll chat with your friends, you'll text them, you'll do a video call, but all 2D, of course, two-dimensional. On Facebook, you will be represented by your Facebook profile picture. In Metaverse, there will be a 3D representation of you, which is called your digital avatar. And think of this 3D version of you, which will be in some virtual, some augmented reality, which will be interacting with others, socializing, attending remote working meetings, participating in events, such as concert, conferences, or games. The Metaverse, as I said, has an element of virtual reality, a fully immersive digital environment accessed by eye goggles that transport users to a virtual fantasy world. And yes, AR, VR technologies are vital components of the Metaverse, but here is how it is different from what it exists today. Think of a VR game that we have today. Example, a tennis match. Well, that would be via a VR app. You wear your goggles, you'll pick up a tennis racket, you play a game of VR tennis. But in the Metaverse, what if after the game of tennis, you want to watch a concert with your friend or you want to go work in your virtual office? Well, that is possible in the Metaverse. Users in the Metaverse won't be limited to a narrow range of functionality that the app has been created for, which in this case is game, playing a game of tennis. Instead, the players could be capable of virtually doing anything that they might. So a key feature of Metaverse is that it should cater to emergent user behavior rather than being constructed for one specific application. So in the Metaverse, you can go from one virtual environment to another. There is continuity in the activities and environments in terms of the user experience and the avatar that you control. The same digital avatar of you will be present in all the environments. But the Metaverse is not only about virtual spaces. Metaverse will be around us in the physical world with the use of IoT, AR, uh, emergent technology. For example, there could be a digital replication of everything in the physical world so that when you chuck on a pair of AR glasses, the shops, or workplaces, parks or anything you pass by on your street will have a digital presence allowing you to interact or even say physically purchase an item to be delivered to your home without physically stepping outside. Which is why Metaverse is physical and digital. It is a persistent shared virtual world. One which is always on in real synchronous time. It is imagined as an overarching universe with a fully functional economy where everyone can participate. It is a place of content and experiences and everything in it will be interoperable. You may want your virtual avatar to wear branded digital clothing. You could decorate your virtual real estate and all that would have to be created and sold which could happen via cryptocurrency. Metaverse is an idea that's been around in tech circles for a long time. It's also the coming together of many technologies, online gaming, blockchain, NFTs, AR, VR, smart devices, the social media. Like most technologies, it can be both underhyped or overhyped. But what we do know now is that this is the new macro goal for the world's tech giants. Mark Zuckerberg has famously said that he sees Facebook becoming a Metaverse company.